Good morning here. This is East News with Hunter Gautreau and Joey Joy. I'm Blake Pennington, back from our long break. Today we are talking about the NFL Draft and all the good prospects and top picks. I don't know. I think it's going to be a good draft this year. It's not really a quarterback field draft. I mean, there's very few quarterbacks and it's just, it's it's just really thin. Most talent in many years. Yeah, they have a lot, I mean, they have a lot of defensive and offensive talent, but I mean, I mean, you've got Johnny Manziel going in there, Teddy Bridgewater, who else? Um, Derek Carr. Yeah. And the bunch of boy. And A.J. McCarron's going, too. And yeah, he can play yeah. ball. He, he can play ball. People think that it's just his team surrounding him, but he's actually a really good player on and off the field. They say it's probably like a, a late second or early third uh, draft pick. I think he's I think, he, I think he's going to be a late first-round pick. One of the no. last picks, yeah. No way. I, I think he is. Zach Mettenberger's also going. Yeah, Zach I don't Mettenberger. think he'll get that high of a draft. He's probably I mean, he's a good though. player. He's, he's, got, he's got a good arm. He's a great quarterback and everything I, I love about him. But the one thing that's going to hold him back is he's not mobile. Yeah, I mean, he's he's improved a lot since last year. He showed a lot of – he was better at sending in the pocket this year and taking shots. I mean, he's a tough kid. Yeah, he's yeah, he's I mean, he's just, yeah, same he, he's he just wasn't mobile. Yeah, he's not very mobile. He's, and he, Brandon I mean, Jennings comes guy. out. He's, he's a big guy. He comes out mobile. Yeah, but on the defensive side this year, you know, Jadavion Clowney and D. Ford from Auburn. I think that Jadavion might go higher, but D. Ford has been talking a lot about Jadavion Clowney in the in the combine, saying that Jadavion Clowney's not as good as him, and Jadavion Clowney, Jadavion Clowney, Clowney ran like a really, full five in the four. I know. Way faster uh, than D. Ford. Now, D. Ford's got really good form, and he's just an all-around good prospect. But I don't know if he's going to be one of the top picks like he says he is. I mean, he's, he's going to go high in the first round. But I don't think he's going to be one of the. Like, I don't think he's going to go before Jadavion Clowney, because Jadavion Clowney is going to be one of the top five picks in the draft this year. He might go six to Atlanta. Yeah, Talking year. about quarterbacks earlier, uh, Johnny Manziel, Derek Carr, all those good quarterbacks probably going to go early first. Yeah, but Johnny Manziel, he's going to have trouble playing in the NFL because he's too small. I mean, he's really quick. Got good explosive. He's I mean, small. I know, so but Russell Wilson. Is, is very small. I know, but Russell Wilson is more built than Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel is going to be like a Doug Flutie. I mean, he's going to have a good college career, and then he's going to – I mean, he'll do good in the pros for a little while, but I don't think he's going to be one of the long-time quarterbacks like Peyton Manning. But top on the board is Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, he's a really like, good quarterback. Quarterback out of Louisville. Yeah. I think it kind of rubbed the prospects long when he decided not to learn to throw in the combine. Yeah. He's played for his pro day, but still. And then there's two good receivers going in this year, and that's Odell Beckham and – Sam Watkins. Sammy Watkins, you got him from Clemson, and then you also have Jarvis Landry from LSU. Yeah, yes. all those good guys. I mean, LSU I had a top line on receiving core this year, but they're going to lose it. And they're going to have some good players come in, but LSU's losing a lot. So is Clemson. And they're going to lose some good players and stuff. And um, so is Taj Boyd, and he's leaving this year, too. Yeah, but he's not like – he's a high material. He was a great but... quarterback. And once again, the top three, we've got uh, Teddy Bridgewater on top, then Jadavion Clowney. You all think that's the way it's going to go? No. I, no. I mean, I don't think Schwab Jadavion Clowney. had a bad year. I think we'll go to Texans. Cause I think Jadavion Clowney's going to go J.J. Watt and uh, Jadavion Clowney are rushing the edge. Look at like, the Giants back in like, oh, wait. Yeah. With all, all those good defensive linemen, it took them the whole way. I think more of a name person, name quarterback is going to go first. I think like A.J. McCarron or someone that people talk about a lot. People don't really talk about Teddy Bridgewater as much. He's a great quarterback. I'm not taking yeah. anything away from him. He's probably one of the best in this draft. But you know, the receiving core this year, they're going back to them. It's going to be a good receiving core. Sammy Watkins is a great receiver. He's a very fast receiver. He had, he had a really good time in the 40, and I think that he's just going to – being I, exposed to I think the NFL. Like his NFL like look like not look like but play a lot. It's kind of like Julio Jones. Yeah, the same like kind yeah. of so, skill set. Yeah. And yeah. Sammy Watkins is at the number seven in the draft pick. Right? Yeah, he's gonna be a good pick. But I think that Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry are gonna be the two better two. I think if somebody grabs them, they're gonna be lucky because Odell is a good receiver. He's young. He's gonna be. He has a he has a really good like rookie mentality. Well, all them, you know, Sammy like, Watkins. I know. I know. Sammy Watkins also ran a four four three in the forty yeah. yard dash. Boy, that's that's, that's really that's, that's, that's fast. fast. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, if two good receivers coming out of LSU. I'm sorry, I'm staying with LSU, but I mean, they're just they they got two explosive receivers. They were a good combined pair, and they just made plays for Zach Mettenberger that some receivers threats. couldn't do. They were they were a dual threat team, and they were good on the deep ball.
and with running backs this year. Mike Evans was also great yeah. for number 10. The one I'm really excited to see about is um, Trey Mason from Auburn. He's going to be a very explosive running back That's in the cool. NFL. I think, I, think if, I think if he can stay in a running offense, he's going to be a great asset to that team. But I mean, he's, he's so blocked. Uh, he's, he's, he's got he's, that he's pro mentality yeah. to him. He's not yeah. one of those guys like anybody else that just comes out there and is like, he's oh. He's a real humble player. Yeah, he's very humble. And he's going to come out there and he's going to give you all of his effort. Yeah. And he knows what to do in each situation, it seems like. He's, he's going to be a good pick. Never doubts. Any team's going to be lucky to have him. Is T.J. Yeldon especially leaving Alabama this year? No, he's done. He's not. Well, I think that T.J. Yeldon's going to be a hot pick when he goes in the next couple of years. But getting back, to the, run, yeah, but getting back to the running backs. Um, yeah, there, there's some good running backs coming out this year. Uh, Trey Mason is one of my favorite prospects this year. Uh, I, think, I think he's going to go pretty high. He'll be at least top 15. The running opinion. back at Kent State ran a uh, full 2 5. Yeah, that's booking it too. That's a fast running back. He, he I mean, when you have. When you have guys running four twos at this level, and they go to the pros and they're being mad because there's several guys that can run four twos in the pros. Well, Drew Yolcher, uh that's the guy who ran the uh, four two five, and Chris Johnson tweeted and said, "You got your boy scared yeah. about trying to beat his back foot at the 40. Yeah. What about what about Johnny Manziel's number one guy to go to, Mike Evans? Uh, he's going to be okay. He, he can catch he's a ball ball. He's at top that. ten. Yeah. He's very handsy when he's running down the field. He's very he puts a lot of contact in it. He's very physical. Yeah. I've seen a lot of mock drafts, and they're saying he's probably going like, to Detroit, maybe, because, like, with him and Calvin Johnson, they just released Nate Wilson. Yeah. I mean, because and it's like he's they, a big guy. I mean, he's, like, what, like 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, yeah, it seemed I mean, like they'd mold together. Yeah. Mike Evans a big dude. You're going to have to put someone on him that can really yeah. push. Yeah. What about Hushon Clinton Dix? Yeah, he's going to be a good player. He, he ran a four five eight forty. I mean, just really fast. He's a good physical Free safety. He's got good hands. He's he's a he's, he's a locked down receiver. I mean, he has he has locked down coverage as a free safety. He hits really hard, real physical. So I'm really excited to see what he goes in, in the top in, in the draft. So he's an aggressive. He's got that aggressive nature to him, and he's he won't stop at anything. And he's like one of those leaders that you need to have on your defense. The C.J. Mosey from Alabama is going to be a very good linebacker. I'm excited to see him leave. I feel bad for Alabama leaving their losing their good defense, but they have more kids come in. C.J. Mosley is a very good prospect. He, he's, he's just a stocky, well-built linebacker. He's really quick. He, he has good across the speed field, makes his good reads. I mean, he's just going to be an outstanding player. To me, in my eyes, I mean, if the Bears drafted him, he would fill the board of my, uh, Brian Urlacher easily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he'll be young if he gets to the speed he of the has, game. He has that lead. But, I mean, he is just – I mean, like, he's, ri- I mean, he, he's a quick learner. He learns quick, as yeah. you saw when he plays. He learns all this quick. He can tell what's going to happen. So. I don't think it'll take him that long. No. And then two spots ahead of Jarvis Landry at 35, we have at 33 Johnny Menzel. Why do y'all think he's so low? Is it because of his mentality yeah, for being, just, like, cocky yeah. or being a punk off the field? It, it's his mentality because most a lot of the pro teams want players that are going to be a good role asset to their stuff. team and maybe a good role model yes. to the kids outside of the town. They want the a cities, good name Everything, for yes. And, you know, and when you have a kid like Johnny Menzel, he's really – He's kind of like a um, a wild card. You don't know what he's going to do. I and mean, his his quote that people like me the same reason people don't like me off the field is why they love me on the field. Yeah, I mean he's just a, he's, he's cocky. I can give him that. But in the pros, that's going to he'll be shut up and hit hard quick. That's and all then, I got to say. And then no, let's talk about his ability. He's I mean, a he's yeah. a magician at quarterback. Yeah. He's got a very 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 distinctive rookie mentality. Yeah. He's one of those guys that will do rookie mistakes. Like he'll come out and snap the ball and he'll run and then he'll get stopped and then throw it away, right? Yeah. No, he's going to go for the off the back foot lob into the end zone with three guys on this defender and yeah, hope Mike Evans makes up and make a he, miraculous catch. Well, he catch. won't always have guys like that. He'll, he'll get picked in the pros. So, And then that's all day for East News. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week.